Welcome back friends, we are ready to begin chapter 4 where dreams die. The objective is go speak to Teron Shan. But basically a quick recap from the events of chapter 3. We liberated the gravestone, we took it back, we killed Koth because of the dark side uh, decisions. And now Scorpio is attempting to take the gravestone to an unknown location, but what's exactly going to happen is about to be explained to us in the very next moment. We're beginning chapter four, where dreams die. Where's Koth? He won't be joining us. Ever. No sign of Scorpio or Valen. I have a power that can destroy Valen. I will use it. Find her. Easier said than done. Internal sensors are offline. The hyperdrive is locked. We're on this journey to the bitter end. Sounds like the end's coming right up. Company, lots of it. That's the whole eternal fleet. That's not our transport. Must be Valens. Activate weapons. Open fire. We can't. Weapons are offline. The transport is hailing us. Commander, I have made a wonderful discovery. The Gemini units, the eternal fleet, the Gravestone, they did not steal my technology. We are related. The Gravestone's computer revealed we were all created here, and you have aided our journey home. I promise to remember you kindly. When I get my hands on you, a memory is all that will remain. I offer you a parting gift. Knowledge that may save your lives. Valen and her remaining soldiers are sabotaging everything they can. You may wish to stop them. I'm seeing power surges all over. Shields, life support. The Omni Cannon. For whatever it is worth, I hope you survive. Theron, help me fix the Omni Cannon. The rest of you, save the ship. I don't have anything to add to the coming fights, or Sky Troopers to farm. I wish there was an achievement about farming 2 million Sky Troopers. That would be worthy and very easily achievable. Just do Fallen Empire once and you have like a million. Do uh, Eternal Throne again once and you have 3 millions. A little bit of lag is attempting to creep in, but no worries, it's nothing too troublesome. We can live without Koth, believe me. me I mean, the Alliance can live without Koth. Well, I hope. I shouldn't say believe me, I hope. We don't know what will happen. never seen anything like it. Omni cannon to bridge. Come in. Hello again.
I like your friends. They'll look lovely in my trophy case. Don't touch them, Valen. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. <laughs> nice try, Outlander. You must, you must be closer if you hope to activate her conditioning. I need a new corpse to hang on my wall. If I can't have you... The Twi'leks no good. Her coloring clashes with my decor. Valen adapts quickly. She cannot strike you down. But she will find other ways to hurt you. She can have her fun, and then I'll have mine. You will, but not here or now. Something is coming. Baron, Lana, does anyone read? Welcome to a very strange and new place. You might know or um, guess where we are, but I will not spoil because we are going to learn in a couple moments through the story what this place is and where we are. While I'm exploring it, those of you guys who have played through the Dragon Age series, especially through the third Dragon Age game, tell me, does that place remind you to a very similar place uh, in, in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition? Because it does remind me. <laughs> And well, we, we are currently on a balcony in an unknown place. And because I have tried, I will tell you, don't jump. Now, let's see. Find your crew. Obviously, we currently have no communication, nothing. But we have a bunch of droids and this very weird thing that's following me. It has available three options. Protecting programming, aggressive programming, and healing programming. Well, you know, it's not exactly acting as companion. But, I've always preferred having something, or in this case, someone or something, I don't know really, uh, healing me. It's good to see and report that these droids die just as easy as they've always been. I mean, as all the other enemies, not that we faced this kind of droid ever before. Compactor droid, this one is named. Caution. Bio under reconstruction. Uh, errors. Responsible for your own injuries. Okay, they've kind of spoiled with this lower object where we are, uh, even before it comes up in the story. So, okay, I should say it already. Welcome to Iocat. It is a brand new planet invented for this expansion by Bioware. It doesn't exist and it's never been mentioned anywhere else in any Star Wars uh, creation. 
It's a brand new planet, unfortunately. It's at the moment not available outside of the story, but hopefully it might be one day. You don't know. Now let's see. Do I want to bother with the bonus quest? Uh, access the Technolits, one out of five. Yes, I do want to access them all. Hello! You don't see me? All right, that's fine. Ah, you see me now. I can't save that slug or a bug, whatever it is. There is the number two. We're getting another lore object update. Oops. Okay. Uh, keeping that on the screen for a few moments because some of you might want to read it, but don't worry. You can either access those on yourself when you play through the story yourself, or I will have all of these lore objects, well, not all of them initially, but later on tonight I will publish um, a lore guide update related to all of these lore, new lore objects available in Knights of the Eternal Throne. So you have a chance to read all of them and I will do my best to attach locations and how to get them just in case you're one of those uh, freak collectionists, collectioneers, I don't know the proper word, and you want to have absolutely everything the game has to offer. I am outside, believe it or not, and I can have my mount. There is a very funky, weird music in the background. Maybe if I stop talking, you would be able to hear. It's nice to see that this bug is still present. Uh, involving the leap. Can't remember if there is anything important here. Nope, nothing. That's exactly right. Once you subscribe for a month, you receive absolutely all of the story content for uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. That includes all the uh, expansions. Once your subscription ends, you will lose all the benefits of the subscription, but you will retain access to the story content. So you will always be able to level your characters to level 70. What is this planet, and how do I leave it? This is the Selruvian Biome, sector 8022, the engineered world designated Iocath. Well, that clears it up. Commander? Sneaking up behind me will get you killed, Torian. Sorry, didn't want to interrupt you. I was on the bridge, there was a bright light, and I woke up on this Daryaim surrounded by machines trying to kill me. Please, tell me how I may serve you. I can answer queries regarding geography, history, history, error. Trespasser, disruptor, you pollute the garden. Stay back! We preserve, we cleanse. Oh, I love those droids. You'll live. You do receive a level 60 or a level 65 token, that's what Bauer said. I haven't checked it out yet, but I believe there is a choice for you. Or maybe you receive both of them, I'm not too sure. Oh, no, 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 lag appears again. Come on! Thank you. We 
Cleanse that. Knights of Zakul must have been on the Eternal Fleet. I'm glad the enemy followed us. Fighting droids gets dull. Something dumped us together for a reason. Some kind of test? Commander, come in. It's Theron. I read you. My comm's been offline. How'd you get a signal? Dumb luck and smart tech. Are you having the same creepy day I am? Knocked out by a bright light on a gravestone, woke up alone on this weird planet? Spare me your diary. I found Torian. Where is my ship? Where is Valen? I haven't seen either of them since I got here. I found a, uh, museum? Temple? Whatever, it's secure. I'll send you the coordinates. Gather my forces and make sure they're ready. We will fight our way off this world. Understood. I'll keep scanning. Keep your eyes open out there. Valen was on the gravestone with us. If we're here, so is she. Hi, Valen. Welcome to the cube. Update on Texan, and don't worry, he is going to have a little bit more uh, voice time throughout the chapter. For now, let's continue forward. We have an object rendezvous with your crew and a bonus mission, access the Technolits. This bonus quest is actually quite important in terms of um, uh, discovering a little bits and pieces of extra information about the backstory and the history of Iocat. What is this world? How was it created? What was its purpose? And other things like that. Uh, quick update. Let me show you my outfit because it is a popular question. So it is a fearsome, fearsome harbinger set, I believe, with pretty much else except for the chest piece. Yes, indeed. And the chest piece is Conquered Exarch's Meditation Robe. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Rishi quest reward. I can't tell you which quest exactly gave it, but you can probably find out on your own. I need to be careful and try not to miss the Technolits. Now, they are marked on the maps with a kind of a special icon, but let's see. Hopefully, I won't miss them. Well, if I do, I will try not to miss them in the light side walkthrough tomorrow. For those of you who might be joining later, as you can see in the top right corner, this is currently the beginning of chapter 4, where dreams die. I'm almost certain that I'm not missing a Technolith here. But damn it, I don't remember their locations. Um, just so you know guys, none of the spam that's coming on my channel is authorized by me, so when you see someone referring you to a link, click here and you will get free stuff, that's not from me, so when you attempt to click on it, always do it on your own risk. Yep, this damage is not much, but it's always cooler if you try to avoid it. Gotcha. Uh, oh, that's not the door. 
But that's something cool. I want to reach it. Come on. A reminder oh. that under that obey established. Hey, 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 Thank you. I'm just quickly double checking if there is another uh, Technolith update here, but I don't think there is, no. So moving forward, I've got only two more to discover. Don't get sleepy. The fun stuff is just up ahead. I hate to spoil just a tiny little bit for you guys, but the ending is really something you would like to see. Well, if you don't see it now during the live stream, you will see it tomorrow when I upload the video. Okay, there is a techno lead here somewhere. I just need to remember where exactly it was. And I really, really hate the swarm droids. Mm, apparently, that's not it. And uh, let's see, let's see, I think that one was, because, well, it's marked differently. And I do remember that there was one here. There we go. It actually looks different. You Come on. It has been. The visitors are far too distinct. Gotcha. Direct opposition. Oh, please adjust <laughs> procedures accordingly. My OBS says it's been three and a half hours since I've been online and I'm only in the middle of chapter four, so there is quite a lot more to come. I'm proud to say I've managed to find all five of the five of the entries. Procedures accordingly. Now, obviously, I didn't stop to read them because I already have in the past, uh, but uh, they are worth reading. So check them out if you want to learn more of the history of Iocat and more details about this world. It's really a shame that it's not a big open world. It deserves to be. It's such a cool idea, uh, the way it exists, why it is created. And especially now we're going to see how our, our characters are going to be involved uh, with Iocat's future.
You'll live. Can't be too careful in this neighborhood. The others are here, safe and sound. Valen's forces may know where to find their Empress. Bring me people to interrogate. We'll do what we can. You know what it's like out there. I'm scanning for our ship, but so far nothing. A gravestone could be anywhere. We won't need the gravestone. We can kill Valen without it. I'd rather hit her with the Omni Cannon. More satisfying. Safer, too. We need to secure this entrance. I can help with that. Vet's in the main room, poking at one of those monuments. She's onto something that could help. Speak to Vet. Obviously, we've managed to find the crew. These aren't Gemini droids. They are related, but uh, more of that will be explained in a little bit. Actually, just about now. By the story, not by me. You finally made it. Wait till you hear what this thing has to say. If it's anything like the others, you're wasting my time. I know better than that. Welcome to Iocath, visitors. I am Ares. Please. Tell me how I may... Skip to the stuff about Scorpio, the Eternal Fleet, the Gravestone, the Gemini droids. Very well. They are among the greatest weapons ever designed by this world's creators. It's obvious Iocath is a weapons factory, and I'm taking control of everything. There's a war to win. Tasteful beings throughout the sector have long admired Iocath's creations. Three thousand years ago, my creators deployed these weapons on randomly selected worlds. Their mission was to conduct war games with the local populations. The live-fire combat exercises produced invaluable design feedback. Reparations were offered to surviving test worlds whenever possible. Enough. Tell your masters I am not their prisoner. Better yet, call them here. I'll tell them myself. Your request has been filed. Do you have additional queries? You left out the list of planets used for these war games. My files include more than 70 unique civilizations, ranging from Avernio III to Zakul. First, they conquered Zakul. Now they fight for it. Something happened to flip them around. Arkan killed you years ago, Vexen. Why did you wait so long to find me? I'm here now. You're so powerful, Valen. The things you can do. I remember when you used to visit my cage. You always bought a gift. I want to help. Tell me what's stopping you from destroying the Outlander. You know the answer. Don't you? Why can't I feel you? I am experiencing interference. Don't look at me. I didn't touch it. Are you free? Are you free? I'm not playing any more games, Scorpio. When I find you, I will tear you apart, piece by piece. If I knew my location, I would tell you, in spite of these threats. I am a prisoner, like you. We were captured to be used as test subjects. And if we do not work together to free ourselves, we will die here. I'll destroy this world before I work with you again. Remember when I said this place was safe? I might be wrong. Oh, hell yes, you are wrong. That's another... Uh, sorry, not Sky Trooper. In this case, it's Drones Invasion. Conclude testing. Dismantling organics. Achieve peace. Probe. Record. Dispose. 
Converge. Destroy. Well, I admit I might have gone just a little bit too far ahead, even on story mode. I must remember that this character is kind of a poorly geared, or at least poorly to my understanding. He does have half a decent gear, actually. But yeah, so many droids no without survivors. a heal, and I'm still suffering. Identify, eradicate, vivisection authorized. Impurities detected. Probe, record, dispose. Impurities detected. Come on, you silly companion. Heal me. And I mean, heal me better. Impurities detected. <laughs> it does sound like Mentor. Nice touch. Maybe it's the same voice, you don't know. I personally don't remember where that droid come from. things keep coming but at least we're safe in here I can't destroy Phelan and Scorpio if we stay here find me an exit oh commander I think I found one I remember when father sent you to bring me home. You hated my cage almost as much as I did. Do you remember why you were there? It was cold and dark. Each moment felt like drowning. You survived because you're powerful. You might be the strongest on this entire world. Oh, I am. Clever, too. The thing is, Vexen, you didn't bring me home. That was Arkin. I was trying to get Ares back online when the door opened. How utterly convenient. This is clearly a trick. If this is a trap, whoever set it made a fatal error. Vet, you're with me. The rest of you, hold this position. Well, let's go exploring, I would say. What else do we have? We're near the end of the fourth chapter, and it ends on the uphill, or upside, or... I don't know, it ends funny. That's me? what I mean. Unfortunately, we have a few more droids to go through. And the even sadder uh, information or fact is that they don't die from one hit anymore. At least not these guys. It's right over there, but first we have to reach it. 
she meant to say a techno lake. Power for these bridge controls. Oh, okay, let's go find power. Nice. That's number source. one. Two more and we'll be good to go. I've always been wondering why in these uh, mini missions or mini objectives during the main chapters, why the companions never actually help, really. Have you ever thought about the possibility of companion going to this node and actually retrieving it for me? Here, we can take the power source from this droid. Yes, we will. Close. Just need That's one number more. two. Now oh, let's see where the hell was number three. Oh, there we go. Let's connect these to the bridge and get it up and running. Easter eggs for the Force Awakens. I have never actually thought about that possibility. And if there are any so far, then maybe I've missed them. If there are any in the future, I will try to pay more attention because I've actually really never paid attention to this. Hmm, interesting. I've seen places like this before, but never so big. It's a giant crypt. There must be millions of dead. There are billions. You found my creators. Not my brother! Who are you? I do not know how long my connection will last. We must speak quickly. Still trying to trick me into rescuing you. It won't work. If you ever want to leave Iocath, you must listen. These monuments connect to a single network. A planetary database tens of millennia old. It is revealing everything. The beings who built Iocath were scientists and engineers. They were also flawed and violent. Like all organics, they turned on themselves. The Geminis, our fleets, even me. We slaughtered our makers. How did you leave this world? Forget what you did. Iocas builders tried to save themselves. They drove us into wild space and locked our memory cores. It did not save them, only us. We drifted for centuries, lost. And when we were discovered, our fates remained the same. Weapons wielded in more pointless organic wars. You're finally home, but you're a prisoner like the rest of us. Why? Who's doing this? Enough lies! Show yourself! As we've just witnessed, this was actually the beginning of chapter 5, but before that, you expect a quick recap of chapter 4, because it did finish unfinished, and we continued the journey on Iocat in chapter 5 in just a moment. Before that, a very quick recap and a break. Now, those are the rewards that I'm receiving. 
They are uh, item rating 210, just like the previous ones. And uh, I don't think you should really be bothered with those. Uh, I'm unsure what uh, what did you mean by crates. Until you reach level 70, you're not allowed to earn any crates from command rank because you're actually not gaining ranks until you get to level 70. Uh, there are a lot of questions from you guys that I've decided to not answer right now. I apologize about that, but my main goal is to show you the story tonight. We'll bother about gearing up RNG, class changes and all the other things uh, in the days to come. Uh, for now, I can only advise... Um, who was that? Mark's kid, I believe. Um, about the class changes, I have a very long and detailed separate video published about two or three weeks ago. Now, before we begin Chapter 5, Ascension, a very quick and short break, two or three minutes, don't go too far away, but you have just about enough time to have a bio break or bring another beer or another batch of popcorns, and we will begin the next chapter in just a few minutes, guys.